Whoop. All right, hello everyone. It's time. I'm just loading. <sighs> a little late. That's okay. I lost it. Um. So I have, as the title implies, I've made a small change. Um. The shotgun, its radius, the spread has been cut in half. So normally, when I fire at this door, it will hit the floor down here. It'll hit the roof way over there sometimes. Uh, but now it's that big. Uh, which is way better. So now when I literally make Demon's Deep Throat my shotgun, uh, I, I will miss. A little embarrassing when that happens, so. Hooray! But we are getting close to the end of the game. Uh, this is the last section, I believe. Caverns and all that. I'm still an awful shot with the shotgun. <laughs> but it should be less terrible, which is great. Uh, I wanted to change some other things about it too. I wanted to change like how much it reloads at a time, like only doing like, if I make it stronger, like, make the reload longer or something, kind of balance it out. Uh, but if I change... Uh, anything about the scripts, not the definitions, if I change anything about the scripts, uh, my game will not load anymore. Just a window. Uh, so I would have to restart a brand new game. So, can't make those changes. I wonder what I can do with scripts. So. I'm wondering if, uh, and this is this is something I probably will not have the effort to do, the, the willingness to do. What's the channel? Oh, hey, God, what do you know? You need the assistance. Multiple injury reports coming following an explosion of unknown origin. Weapons fire can be heard. Okay. Uh, but I was I was wondering what I could do with those things so I could mod Doom to be not better, I won't say, but different, more to my taste, maybe. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Or not even more to my taste, just like what, what, make it something more, if I could make combat more interesting, you know? Also goes for changing damages though those were in script. So I what I wanted to end up doing was obviously making the shotgun Well that's gonna kill me. Holy shit, that was like all my fucking health. Um uh, making the shotgun do less damage, because obviously each damage more less damage per pellet. Uh that way it's still important to be up close to not miss. But uh it does make it less embarrassing when you do miss. <laughs> Or more embarrassing, I suppose. At least missing will be your fault. <laughs> Whereas before it felt like the weapon spread was just so fucking bad. Oh right, I have the cube. That can heal me too. I can't read whatever's on this, <laughs> these screens. Really. Yeah, the shotgun's a little better, I guess. <laughs> I'll take it over what it was. Uh, 
other thing I wanted to do was I would love to have centered the flashlight. But I, I didn't have the time to find those settings. I don't know, maybe I'll do a, a Doom 3, like, week mod. I think that'd be interesting. Shipment contains various small artifacts and throw that line up there. I literally only changed a shotgun, though, so nothing else had really interesting the how you do with the definitions, anyway. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I could use the cube. Ah, uh, I'm not thinking about the cube. We're not thinking of cubes. And the game crashed. No, it minimized again. Okay, did that thing. Sir, let's go. We did it. We didn't almost die several times. It's a bit late in the game to start doing, like, footsteps in the distance noises, you know? I feel like we're done. Or 
we're, we're, we're a little, we're a little into it. Maybe a little heavily armed. Not really, uh, not really a lot of horror going on when you're armed to the teeth, weighed down with tons of ammo, and a cube that instantly kills things and kills you. I mean, I guess I can't speak for everybody, but I'm like, who, who, who would get to this point in the game, hear those footsteps and go, oh! What was that noise? Oh my god. He's so funny. Maybe, I mean, maybe someone's done it. Okay, I can't just use the cube. I didn't do the thing, did I? But I did do the thing. Hang on. what this was. Yeah. Did the footsteps again. <laughs> Service lift called to station. Okay, I don't remember clicking that last time. But take your word for it, game. Hooray! The cube saves. Oh, hey, some some things I didn't need. There's gonna be a bunch of enemy spawns on this elevator, huh? Or is there just gonna be a loading screen? Are you gonna make me think something's gonna happen and not do anything? Just normal elevator noises. Just a, uh, you know, old metal does those things. Really uncanny. My frame rate doesn't like it either. God, my frame rate. Oh my god, he went flying! Geez, he got some distance. If I could read those buttons better, I would have <laughs> some idea what's going on. The shotgun feels way more viable now that I've got the spread down. Like, I still think it's good from this distance. <laughs>
I might, I might lessen the damage if I do a mod. Because I do want it to be more reliable, but not one-shotting imps like it is. And granted, I'm getting headshots, so, like, it's different. Oh, fuck. I could have made that. <laughs> I just would have known. He gets. I just knew you were in the darkness. Obviously still not good at long range. Okay, medium range unless I get lucky. Then obviously great at close range. Whereas before it was like, okay, close range, impossible with everything long further away than that. <laughs> the better spread of utility to me. I'm gonna keep calming down on this because I'm, I'm learning how effective this is as I go. <laughs> okay, in case something goes wrong again, we're gonna save. Notoriously bad at saving me, I am. Attract attention and then they'll come. Get out of here now. Take that key card. It'll help you get to the surface. Also, I tried to cheat in the beginning of this game, and uh, I gave myself like all the weapons so I could test them. Uh, you don't, you can't use them until you get your first weapon, but um. You get the chainsaw. And I find it really funny that if someone's holding a PDA and you kill them, uh, they all, they're all holding the same PDA. They're all from the same guy. I thought that was neat. I'm not hey, going bud. anywhere until I know all those things are dead. Oh, you're going to be here a long time. I have a lot of work to do, and there's several games about it. <laughs> I don't know where to use this key.
How do I get there? I want that stuff. Well, let me not really. I like full on ammo. Where was there a key card? That was a while back, wasn't it? Well, I was supposed to come back because that was the whole what the whole ladder was for. Hmm. Maybe it's that door. I'd actually check it last time. Yes. Well. Hate those spiders. Audio report regarding dangerous working conditions in caverns below Delta. This is Bob Cohen. Repair. Today is October 18th, 2145. My crew has been rewiring the generators as ordered for the last several days. We can't finish the work. We're stopping after today. This job ain't worked out. We'll be collecting our gear and tying down what we can. We call them howls because that's how they start. First the howling gets louder, the screaming. And shaking earth. Hey, found it. Throws <laughs> everything around. Makes walking on the catwalks impossible and working with voltage. Stupid. Mm. The noise is if some of the guys spoke, and I don't blame. I'm not about what we've heard. If someone can figure out what's causing the hours, I'll be sure to finish the job. Till then, we'll be available for a new assignment tomorrow. Good on you, man. Fuck this job, I quit. I almost thought that was gonna be like a jump scare corpse. Oh, well, now I'm a jump scare corpse. <laughs> oh, man. Who like nothing happened. You? What are you doing here? You're gonna attract attention and then they'll come. Get out of here now. Take that key card. It'll help you get to Alright, on my way. <laughs> Don't tell me twice. Except this time. Spider. Aha! Won't give me a second time. more than I thought I would. Where's the other? Okay. You're so close to me. Woo. Who of them? This is mean.
That looks fine. Hey guys, I'm here to break your stuff. video game ladders, but <laughs> I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. This is going to go wrong in so many ways. Alright, Doom guy, now it's not the time to care about your ankles. Oh, that one hurt you. Weak bones. That's a thing, he's a... You can do a lot of damage. Can't take any falls. <laughs> So I guess to be fair, I did say he's armed to the teeth with like tons and tons of ammo, so like maybe the extra weight's hurting. <laughs> My kindest take. I was expecting maybe one. <sighs> something, something did not save at all, whatever, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'll talk about it. <laughs> 20 damage to me. 30 damage to me. Never mind. Like, it feels like a similar jump height, but not. I mean, similar, but not exactly the same. That did eat. 
cube. Cube, go! Struggling. I should have said the game was too easy to start. <laughs> you imagine ten damage to me. didn't jump at me. <laughs> that just made it so much weirder. Okay, now I don't feel like he needs to be cubed. I'll hold on to him. Well, no, let's cube him anyway. Because I had to cube back by the time the big guy showed up. Guy in the elevator? Yeah, all right. Oh, shouldn't have called the elevator, maybe. <laughs> Would have died then. <laughs> It's just like, boring is never worth it. <laughs> like, you know, there's supplies, but like, I never need them when I find them. Like, I'll need them in the next room. Jesus. 
just didn't explode. That one I fired just did nothing. Okay. On to caverns two. <laughs> is the corporate name for this area. But there's like a... Like a witty local name, but I'm not from here. So I don't know it. <laughs> oh, don't be another... Don't be a baby room. This place is almost a little too dark. I just want to see what it looks like. A bit too. Nah, okay, so. Not really much better. <laughs> the blue key card. Hooray! Save my game. <laughs> Save again. Now it's dead. Not as bad as the the dying loop. Revenants go. <laughs> I don't know. I want them back, but like they—they they aren't really. Are you in this last level? Um, 
looking through them walking around, but they're not. <laughs> Just making noise. Get picked up. Nothing I could have done. Really? I don't even know what happened there. Probably hit with a rock, but I couldn't see it that time. <laughs> Doesn't seem so. Okay. Caverns 2 is short. I mean, we died last. Oh, way shorter. Use the room full of ammo, so here's like the very last part. Got it. Well, this is it. This is the end. There was a uh, less here than I thought there was. New standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis. The UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belonged to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics, oh, is that where I am? Proprietary pattern recognition. The burial ground. The tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing hmm. the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers used this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story. A story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. 
The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mighty. Hey, sword, they added a V to it. He banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Until now. <laughs> Cool. And that was enough time for me to finish eating. <laughs> okay, but that looks pretty cool. I wonder if they're like embarrassed of the, the like the art, and that's why they made the game so dark. Also, Unity. Not the engine, this is in, I just made a joke. Like. Minus my flashlight being incredibly right now, but like. This looks pretty good. Like, this is kind of cool. The, the ancient civilization. I mean, it's. It clearly is inspired by, like, Egypt and stuff, but. But it looks nice! But it's all in the dark, so you can't see it. So. Oh, that's kind of sad. Hello? Oh. Guys, do you know where the Hellgate is? I'm here for... I don't know if you're... Oh. Okay, goodbye. I think I found the way. Shifting brick hallway is a an interesting take on hell. I'll give them that. Ah. <laughs> Just you know, mildly move out of the way of these giant bricks being thrown at me. Here we are, everyone's favorite, the Cyber Demon. <laughs> I died instantly. <laughs> wow. I did not stand a chance. That was it, hell got me, they won. It's just that easy. Just, just shoot me. <laughs> no, I think I was also surrounded. Woo! <sighs> uh, I did not mean to go near the big guy. I meant to jump over the little guy. We're going to be dying a lot here, I guess what we're learning. Um. Please tell me I can't one-shot him with a cube. No. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use the BFG anymore. It's 
good for like a lot of small enemies, but doesn't do like a lot of concentrated damage. I gotta stop going near him. I really do. I gotta stop. <laughs> I keep making that mistake, letting him get too close. Oh god, no! I'm trapped in the corner now. How do you get behind him? Does that really have any... I don't really have any good places to go. Oh no, I can't get behind him either. Oh, but I can go this way. Now that all the shaking has stopped and I can kind of see... Doing us all a service. <laughs> Recon Zulu, this is Echo One. Give me a visual status. Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. We've got massive damage all over oh, the why base. Is it off the screen. This place looks like hell. I've got life signs on the bio scanner. Eyes sharp. Echo One, we've got a survivor, a Marine. Corporal, you hear me? You all right? Can you hear me? Corporal. Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. Prepare for medevac. Copy that. Have you located Counselor Swan? Yes, sir. He's dead. Roger, Recon One. What about Dr. Petruger? He's nowhere to be found, sir. I'm in a mouth. My life stream. Hooray. No one understands me, but now my life is complete. Oh, that science for this! My ultimate form. To live inside of a mouth.
So that's Doom 3. Um, it's, it's better than Rage. I know that bar is really low, but... <laughs> I skip the credits at all? No, no, I cannot. Game says no. no. I must know who did this game. Uh, 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 we're gonna we're gonna do something a little bit while we wait because uh, it's incredibly loud. But I don't want to lower it just for you guys. So I want to lower it for me too. There we go. Good enough. I, I don't know, compared to, compared to Rage, I think this still has that, that Doom DNA that like, that like, you know, you kind of still feel like id Software knows what they're doing. I don't remember this game being as obviously influential or wildly popular as like Doom 1 and 2. I, I believe everyone thought it was kind of a step back, though obviously it still did well, um, but it did not get the critical reception that they wanted, which is why it took Doom 2016 so long to come out. Uh, and some other things, too, like the, the Microsoft acquisition and all that. But, uh... You could still see it. Like, it's still there. I think the interesting... Again, just like Rage, the interesting combat design where you have different enemies that cover each other's weaknesses and things like that, so you have to kind of prioritize targets and maybe use a different weapon that can handle a stronger enemy, so you can take that out, or faster weapons so you can take out the little enemies, or, like, you really need to move, so you just fire big groups of bullets, hopefully you hit, you hit things, kind of thing. Um, none of that is in this, either. Just like in Rage. Uh, but it does kind of keep the certain guns are better at taking out certain enemies. Like, a slow shotgun is not great for the spiders, really, because uh, they overwhelm you, and things like that. So you have to kind of think about that. Rage had none of that shit. Rage was like, guy runs at you, shoot with strongest gun. Guy stands back and shoots you, shoot with strongest gun. And it was kind of... Kind of reg the, the peak regression in first-person shooters. I, don't, I can't even say that, because, like, <laughs> Doom and Wolfenstein were the first... <laughs> Um, so they kind of, they kind of got that one wrong. This one, I think, other than the shotgun, though, like, I think all the weapons are pretty good. I didn't feel like one of them didn't need to be, oh, okay, well, the machine gun and the minigun kind of cover the same thing. Uh, one of them is not better than the other, either. Uh, I even, I even think that the, the chain gun fires slower, but does more damage. <laughs> and it's less accurate. It's like, why not just use the machine gun? Ammo, I guess. But, uh... Also, the Doom 3 does an interesting thing, kind of in the vein of, like, Quake, where it kind of merges that, like, technology and biology kind of stuff from Hell and all that. So, like, um... Like, all the Strog and Quake are, well, when they existed, are, like, cyborgs and stuff. Like, And there was a little bit of that in Doom 1 and 2. A little bit. Like, the cyber demons have, like, a, a metal leg and the brains on legs. The... God, what are they called? I don't remember what those guys are called. And you, you get the little little ones, too. Little fuckers. And there's a big one. Um, so there's a little bit of that, too. But, like, this one really kind of shows it off. I just feel like everything feels more, like, chunky technology. Uh, and I, I, I do like I do like the environment. I do like the darkness. Maybe not for streaming, but for like atmosphere. And then another misstep was like trying to still be a scary horror game, like at the end of the game. <laughs> like, ooh, darkness. We're gonna we're gonna get ya. But it's like I've got a shotgun. I've got a BFG. I've got a plasma rifle. Like, what are you gonna? I got a cube that'll kill you. Like, what are you gonna do? Oh, or it's different in the beginning of the game where you're like, I have a flashlight that's not attached to any gun, and I have a, a little tiny pistol. Whereas that, those sorts of things can still work. 
Um, I actually don't mind switching between the flashlight and the gun. Um, it is a weird decision, though. Like, I I don't want to try to, like, defend it and be like, it was a good idea. Like, I don't mind it, but it was, it was... What a weird thing to do. Right? So... Just kind of... Then there are mods for that, like, immediately. Like, putting gun... Like, lights on each gun. Um... But this still does, like I said, it's, this feels like if you took the same team that made Doom 2 and they were like, all right, time to move into 3D. And like a couple of them left and they got new people. That's how you get Doom 3. <laughs> like you can still see the bit of Doom 2 that was supposed to go into Doom 3 moving in. And then like some new ideas that maybe didn't quite work or like we wanted to do something different that wasn't Doom 2 because we're, we're a new game now. And it so... It ends up, on the whole, like, being good, but not great. And I think there's some things they could have, like, pushed a little further. Probably, like, time constraints, I'm assuming, or, like... Obviously, every, every time I, I have a complaint about a game, I don't think it's like, oh, what lazy developers or thing. It's always, like, they had to make a choice. And those choices impact other choices. And it just becomes a series of choices until you end up with what you have. And uh, none of those choices were good or bad. They were probably the best choices they could make at the moment. And that's okay. Because obviously no one goes out to make a bad game. But Doom 3 is good. Like, it's, I don't know, 8 out of 10 for me. I still enjoyed it. Again, to reiterate for people, for anyone who maybe missed the beginning of the stream, for whatever, the very first stream, I should say, this is a modded version of the BFG edition using the BFA um, source port, where I have added back in the original flashlight behavior and lowered the ammo count, which doesn't feel like it, and I lowered the the lighting, so it's as dark as the original. I don't know if the new lights were removed, so there were still extra lights, but they were darker. So it has like that overall mood of Doom 3, um, and it plays about the same. Uh, the only thing that is majorly different to me for my feeling playing Doom 3 when it came out is the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun is bad. And I remember it being, I remember the spread being really wide originally, but not having a problem where I would run up to an enemy and they're taking up my entire screen. And I'd fire and it would just form a ring around them. And this never happened to me. So I'm glad I mod the shotgun. It tells a lot better. I might like take the damage down a couple ticks though. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna keep botting Doom 3. Um, yeah, anyway, Doom 3 got an expansion. Uh, yep, that's fine. Called Resurrection of Evil. Lost Mission is, I think, for BFG stuff. I've never played Lost Mission. Uh, but Resurrection of Evil, I've only played through one single time. I actually own the disc of it. It's out in the living room. Same thing with Doom 3. I own, I own a physical copy of Doom 3. It's out there in the living room. Um, on the shelf. But uh, I do actually own Resurrection of Evil as well. I played through it one time. And Resurrection of Evil is where I remember the Soul Cube from. I don't actually remember it being in the base game. <laughs> Clearly it was. Uh, I actually, I, I did think the end of the game was going to be a little bit longer, though. So we're actually going to start the expansion and play for, for a little bit. I am going to end early. Uh, I don't want to get into Resurrection of Evil and, like, finish. It's not, gonna, it's not long as long as Doom 3, but... As an expansion. Part of me, though, wonders what the multiplayer of this game is like. I never, I don't, I'm not interested in actually playing multiplayer most of the time, especially when, like, like random people, I'd rather play with my friends. Uh, but I'm kind of interested in what the multiplayer was like for Doom 3. Like, was it, like, Deathmatch and kind of just, like, Doom? Find the best guns or whatever? I think it'd be fun. Uh, there might be, like, a capture the flag thing. I don't know, would it be? Great private man. Capture the flag, deathmatch, Bernie, team deathmatch, last man. Okay. Exactly what you expect from a first person shooter. Anyway. Yeah, so my thoughts on Doom 3 are pretty good. I'd recommend it. If you like first person shooters and you don't mind older ones, can't go wrong with Doom 3. It feels. Especially with the BFA stuff, it feels new enough 
where like people who are into modern first person shooters could get into it and not like the original Doom. Like if you want to play the actual classic, like you can't use the mouse, there's no jumping, like that sort of. But apparently jumping is a big deal for people. I don't think, I don't know why. <laughs> but Doom 3 is a good middle ground. Um, I think for getting into like older first person shooters. Don't play Quake 4. The only, my only memories of Quake 4, I don't remember any of the guns, I don't remember the story, I don't remember any of the boss fights, I remember falling down holes. So many surprise holes, that is my only memory of Quake 4. <laughs> <laughs> but, it is made... Maybe not made. They've been involved with a lot of really cool projects since Doom 2016. And like around that, like after they got acquired by Microsoft, and they kind of spread around the catalog because they helped out with Wolfenstein that was given to Machine Games, I think. And the new Wolfenstein games are really good, even the one from 2008 or whatever. Not as good as the one, the the, the, the later ones, um, like the New Order or whatever. Uh, those are very good. The ones that take place in like the 60s. Those are, those are fantastic, made by machine games. They went more narrative focused with it though, but it was still involved in that project, I believe. Uh, they also did the help Bethesda with the gun combat of Fallout 4, which is why it feels so much better than Fallout 3. <laughs> so they do a, a bunch of stuff and it feels like a kind of a smart decision by Microsoft to take the talent that they have and use that talent to help other studios. I don't feel like larger publishers really do that. I mean, EA tried, sort of, with using only one engine, and if you get published by EA, you have to use their engine, and they make a big database of things, but they're just almost, like, helping you. I don't know what, what, like, how it helped with things, but, like, just having, like, basically fill out a wiki for the engine and hope for the best. That's has not worked out for them, really. <laughs> it, it historically has not gone well. But, yeah. Uh, Resurrection of Evil, though, brings back a fan favorite. We're gonna get into. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be. I don't know when I get it, but it has a super shotgun, and I'm really excited for that one. And it's gonna be just as bad because I have not modded that one. Only one survivor is located. That was me. Uh, I need to find signal broadcast from the abandoned Mars Site One complex. A year later. As the renewal of its Mars research program, Dr. Liz McNeil has chosen to lead the primary assessment team. I wasn't paying attention to the very first date, but I, I think that was about a year later. Two years later? Some time later. Dr. McNeil, they're close. Red team, we're showing your position less than 100 meters from the signal. But there's no data suggesting any ancient civ development in that area. I think they're up to something they just don't want us to know about. <laughs> something up the volume around here. There's some sort of chamber beyond this wall. Point, we need a charge here. Roger that. On my way. Okay, back it up. Trouble with your transmission. I need that stream brought back online now. Damn it! Can't see a thing. Move slowly. Do you hear that sound? No, sir. No one hears that sound. <laughs> Only you. Different guy, it's me again, but different. It 
player. grenade okay we're gonna hold off on that real quick and we're gonna turn this back up there we go and back to the game what's going on down there we got the reported throughout the facility I am totally okay. Hell hasn't messed with my mind at all. What the hell just happened? Hey, they look like the old boss souls. things are going wrong. I don't think my friends are having a good time. If I were to take a guess that... He, uh, him especially. <laughs> Oh, I never get a name. Just Marine. Oh. Throws a corpse at me and laughs at me. Like, he thinks he's so cool. He just wants to scare me, and it's not working. <laughs> well, this would be much better for the Lost Souls. Stream yelling at my cat. He eating Nico's food. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny though. Like, I wonder how much he ate, but yeah, that's. <laughs> now she's calmly drinking. Of course she is. She's like, well, a dry food. <laughs>
No. I'm gonna get the gravity gun. He tried to hit me with a fireball, but I grabbed it and threw it right back at him. I, yeah, I saw. You're not gonna get far with that pistol. Take this grabber. It's more useful than you think. I'm just gonna tell me what the heart does, or I just missed that. Tell me what the weird heart does. Whee! I just grab lost souls. <laughs> I throw them at their friends, though. That's the real question. Can I turn my enemies into projectiles? that shoots flaming skulls. Didn't go well. Where's my super shotgun? I demand it. Zoe. Are you being a criminal? I know you are. Oh. Did it just summon little turkeys? Oh, little xenomorphs! Cute. I kind of thought they were going to be demon turkeys. Wait, I recognize this bot. This is literally where I started. We've come full circle. UAC has no idea what they're up against. They sent us here to die like the others. It killed everyone before we even knew what happened. We couldn't even see it. it Move so fast! No, I won't go back. No, it's still there. 
I hope you haven't been in that locker since the original game. <laughs> that would be a little upsetting, maybe. <laughs> How, what are you living off of? What? Yeah, I thought something just hit me. Okay. Oh my god. Well, didn't see that coming. <laughs> little turkey noises. Where's my game with demonic turkeys? This audio log is very interesting. Okay. Now I won't explode. They look so much more advanced. The new and improved imps. Nightmare Imps? I don't know if that's what they're going to be called in this game. Well, we'll figure out the... Figure out the heart one day. Just the one spider? Oh, the anus. <laughs> I mean, it's a little anus back there.
cookie clicker has you again? Oh no. How could you let this happen? You know how it ends. I always like the grandma thing in Cookie Clear. I thought it was very funny. Sometimes you just gotta put your heart into it. Listen carefully. This isn't the first time we're facing this, but I need more information. The artifact to recover this obviously capable of incredible power may also be the source of the Venus. Do whatever it takes to get the artifact to me. I'll try to contact the others. Out. Hey, what does an artifact charge do, though? There's a lot of not explaining going on. Cleaning all this up. Oh. This is gonna go wrong. <laughs> I just know this is gonna go wrong. I knew it. I I just I knew it. Okay, so only way to go is forward through closing brick things. I just got an artifact charge. So is the artifact charge going to give me slow motion? It sure is. Okay. See what direction I need to go. If it's both directions, then like that would just like leads around. Oh yeah. Okay, so I can do this twice. So that looks like a way to go. And that looks like nothing. Okay. <laughs> Gotta use it earlier than that. We're learning. We we got this. We'll figure it out. My my heart of bullet time. That was not a way to go. Whoop. How long is this gonna last? That long. Okay. Oh, more tablets. They're the same tablet. I, I aimed a gun at it. I helped him. <laughs> I'm white left. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. I got to spin like a top. That'll never happen again. Oh, I don't think I can throw bullets back at them. Come on.
would have been much easier if I did that earlier. <sighs> in my favor right now. Ah. Grabber's fun. Not useful. see him there. Walked right up to him. Um. Ha! I did remember it. Give me the super shotgun already. Oh. get it eventually. Oh. At least those guys don't do like 30 damage or whatever. Like the big guys do. That's so crazy. How much damage I was doing, I was taking at the very end. Though I feel like a cyber demon hitting me for 700 damage, like, sure, that makes sense. Totally gonna die. Never mind. I'm saved. grenades in this one, but they do have their uses. <laughs> My frame rate is not happy.
All right. Where do I get where do I get the super shotgun? I need to know. I find it in this level. Marine, Marine, come in. Come in, Marine. Good. Dr. Cloud just contacted me, and he may be able to help. He has the recently discovered tablet ready for translation. He's missing an important section known as the primitive. It's a type of cipher key. We found the primitive years ago, but didn't understand how to use it until now. We must get the primitive from artifact storage and take it to Dr. Cloud in the Arrows Labs. The tablet may be the key to understanding some of this. You're out. Uh, and this will probably be the last section I do. So ready for a super shotgun. It doesn't have a meat hook attached to it, I know, but I love this super shotgun. <laughs> oh, not you. I don't love spiders. I don't even think the spiders are easy to take down with the super shotgun. I guess you can. Better ways to do it. <laughs> like rocket launchers. wall make that noise. I like this room. This is very classic Doom to me. <laughs> okay. We're gonna save. Because <laughs> I don't think this is gonna end well for me. Like that. <laughs> I did something dumb. I don't think I was ready for this. Ugh! <laughs> 
No! Fuck me. <laughs> Just cut corners, everything be fine. No. Got that one slower. I'm gonna do this whole thing. One take. My goal. Saving. <laughs> oh, the game is going to save too. We had the same idea. I was not expecting him to fall to pieces like Paul. Yeah, take that, demons. <laughs> Hella frags. <laughs> Fucking grenade. Quick save in this game kind of sucks. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those quick saves where it's like, you just don't have to access the menu. And I miss Paul. More, more games need a Paul. <laughs> Well, maybe not necessarily. Let's no no one take that statement and use it for evil. <laughs> I don't want like escort quests all over the place again. Just let me carry my brother's corpse around. Right? <laughs> I was so surprised when it happened. Damn, I had to try. Oh, this guy's evil. Birthday. Aw. Hey. Okay, so I don't actually know combination. Maybe I'll know it when I come back. Ray. That's cool. Uh, other guy? There you go. My thing, too, though, was, like, when I went to, like, literally the clip where I was, I dropped him and I was like, oh, hey, here, hang up down here, and it just fucking explodes. I was like, Paul, why?
Who's there? Oh, get away! Stay back! Don't get it! Don't, don't get too close. I'm not, I'm not okay. No, no, keep away. And zombie. You've got to have the coat. Uh, there we go. Seven, six, nine. Supplies. I thought there'd be more. Did I do what I was supposed to do? I don't even remember. You power cell. Oh yeah, so I got I got a power cell. I feel like I should have been ready for that. <laughs> Four to eight. Why, why do I have to get the office by a, with a ladder? That's crazy. Who built this place? <laughs> For what purpose? This is Doom 3 now. We're here. We're not actually. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. 
I just didn't feel like that. I, I, I wanted to get in the super shotgun to be very anticlimactic, so I'm not even gonna use it. But we're gonna, we're gonna use it. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, I don't use it on you guys. Can I get, I get multiple of you? There we go. Uh, it doesn't really have the kick to it that it used to, you know? Ah. Lord, that was bright. <laughs> Well, you die in your dreams, you die in real life. <laughs> I, I only killed like two of them with a super shotgun. Man, my frame rate really hates this expansion. I didn't mean to turn and throw a grenade right into that guy's face. I owned myself. Trying to be cool. I wasn't trying to be cool, I just was like, this was probably more effective. It was not. Every time I go to get on a ladder, that little skip, right? Just fall a little bit more than I think I should. Motion blur. <laughs> You're not looking in that window. Attention. Filtration system now active. Contaminants detected. Commencing storage containment filtration. Storage containment filtration complete. Remember, we're no citizen. We have a great day. I definitely prefer that over the crane game.
I love the, the animation of the spawning in being so long. <laughs> run right up to them. There's nothing they can do about it. Okay. Like I said, that's going to be the last section I'm going to do. I'm tired. That's not why I'm stopping. I got I have, I have things to do. But yeah, I pff, went to bed at like 9 a.m. or something. Got woken up at like 11 by my cat. And I've been busy all day, so I gotta be more busy. But I want to I want to finish the base game of Doom Three, uh, at least. And I. I finished it way earlier, so we, we did a little bit of the expansion, which is great, because we're going to see how much this expansion is better than the original. <laughs> like I said, I only did it once. Um, so just a reminder, I will not be streaming Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, we will be back to this later. Uh, Saturday is going to be a special stream. It is not Stardew Valley. I really hope all of you show up for that. Very important to me. I think you'll all like the surprise. Well, people who've been here a while will like the surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm basically taking a week off, I guess. So, um, yeah. Thank you everyone for joining me. And I will see you all on Saturday. Take care and good night. Wait. Okay. Waiting. What's the week off for? You'll find out on Saturday. I don't think I can stress enough how important Saturday will be to answer all your questions. <laughs> it, it'll be good. Trust me. It'll be it, well. Maybe don't don't maybe don't trust me. I don't know. Do whatever you want, but it'll be good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway. I will see you all Saturday. <laughs> Good night. I'm gonna quick save, though. I know it's just a thing, but... Alright, good night, everyone.